When you've gotten used to the smell of the alcohol-based sanitizer as well as your own breath underneath the cloth mask during the virus pandemic, you can't help but crave for a bite when you encounter confectionery scent as you walk into a pastry shop tempted enough to throw away your street diet commitments. Now, this is not just any confectionery shop, but Lulo's Pastry Shop with a medium-sized baking kitchen on site, where owner Somigazi Zulu works her magic to produce tasty treats from scones, biscuits, to scrumptious cakes and pastries. Zulu left her job at the Department of Home Affairs, the administration division, to start her business out of her passion for baking. She started her business using a small baking oven, pushed her products to local clients and exhibition shows, reaching the premier of the Eastern Cape province Lubabalo Oscar Mambuyani. They call it business uh, because I wanted to inspire, I wanted to generate imani uh, within our community. I wanted to employ young people. Um, most importantly, I wanted to do something I can wake up every day and be excited about. Um, that was 2018 because then I tell you, then they, Oven. I mean, it used to bake a gigawatt at a time. Now I can basically bake six cakes at a time. So it you know, took a load off my shoulders. This is going to change the business so much. And we are going to be able to do that in Korea for this opportunity and for believing in me and the business that I can actually do something bigger and better. Impressed by the quality of Zulu's cakes and biscuits, Premier Mabuyani requested the Alfred Nzo District Municipality and the Provincial Department of Economic Development, Environmental Affairs and Tourism to inject funds and help her buy more ovens to grow her business operations. Alfred Nzo Executive Mayor Sitolile Mikhlomakulu says they decided to buy the equipment Zulu needed for her business to support her operations. For 2018, someone on the young interviewer came from the nature. Someone did it. Even at the end, and then supported the young. We the young. We saw 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 the young. The Premier, who has been driving youth development with provision of funds to businesses owned by young people, says he is happy to see results of his decision. He recently further invested in the business by donating a whopping 100,000 rands to the young business owner to make her dreams a reality. I'm so inspired by Bob Gala. I think to see uh, young entrepreneurs I'm disappointed that the economic development today has done nothing about that. But she was doing a very brilliant job. So today she's up and just is on Mercedes, she's on Casa. She deserves more. Uh, you don't want to see these things in the big cities. People here deserve this. People here do have birthdays. People here do have uh, weddings. So all these uh, beautiful events that make this kind of a uh, decoration of cakes and other biscuits. So I think she's doing something wonderful. And I'm so inspired, so impressed. That uh, to date she has employed about seven other people here, with some actually coming here time on task arrangement. So it tells you that uh, there is a huge potential. Currently, Zulu sells her products to buyers from in and around Alfred Nzo, with plans to supply retail stores like Spa and Boxer, as well as introducing her own brand of cakes and biscuits to airlines.